Hi, this is Pat Love with Pat's Two Cents, and this is our Tuesday meeting with God's Church of Love Online. We're reading from 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verses 1 and on through, till the Lord tells me to stop. But the times and the seasons, brethren, ye have no need that I write unto you. For yourselves know perfectly that the day of the Lord so cometh as a thief in the night. For when they shall say, Peace and safety, then sudden destruction cometh upon them, as travail upon a woman with child, and they shall not escape. But ye, brethren, are not in darkness, that the day should overtake you as a thief. Ye are all the children of light and the children of the day. Ye are not of the night, nor of darkness. Therefore, let us not sleep as do others, but let us watch and be sober. Now, let me add this real quick, you guys. Sober does not necessarily pertain to not being drunk. Soberness is being aware, is being keenly, acutely aware of what's going on around you, of the times we're living in. So let us watch and be sober. For they that sleep, sleep in the night, and they that be drunken are drunken in the night. But let us who are of the day be sober, putting on the breastplate of faith and love and for an helmet the hope of salvation. For God has not appointed us to wrath, but to obtain salvation by our Lord Jesus Christ, who died for us that whether we wake or sleep, we should live together with him. Wherefore, comfort yourselves together and edify one another, even as also ye do. And we beseech you, brethren, to know them which labor among you, and are over you in the Lord, and admonish you, and to esteem them very highly in love for their work's sake, and be at peace among yourselves. Now we exhort you, brethren, warn them that are unruly, comfort the feeble-minded, support the weak, be patient toward all men, see that none render evil for evil unto any man, but ever follow that which is good among yourselves and to all men. Rejoice evermore, pray without ceasing, in everything give thanks, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus concerning you. Quench not the spirit, despise not prophesyings, prove all things, hold fast that which is good, abstain from all appearance of evil. I just got something from that. Let me let me tag on that real quick for a second. We, every time I've heard and read that scripture, abstain from all appearance of evil. To me, it was always don't be seen doing things that could be mis, misconstrued as, as evil. Don't be at places that could be misconstrued as you participating in something sinful. No, it just came to my mind well, don't even watch stuff that looks like it could be barely associated, affiliated, connected, in agreement with evil. Wow. All right. That reminds me of what Peter just said about the woman watching the about the sacrifice taking place in the new temple. And God said, don't even watch it. Don't even let your eyes come into agreement with that mess. Wow. Okay. Now, let me go back. Abstain from all appearance of evil and the very God of peace sanctify you wholly. And I pray God, your whole spirit and soul and body be preserved blameless unto the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. Wow. Amen. Wow. 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 So, that that says it, that put it right in the bag for me. I don't know what it did for y'all, but this is what I'm going to go into. We, a lot of times in these last days, we watch things on TV. We watch things on YouTube. We watch 
all kinds of things. Sometimes we play games with our families. We get on the internet. We play these games. Some of the games I watch is like constant killing, 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 killing. Seek and destroy. Kill, 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 right? Then you got other movies that have to do with uh, every time you turn around, it seems like somebody's in the bed with somebody's husband or somebody is depressed. So what do they do? There's, the camera zooms in. I'm, I'm telling you what I've been seeing. The camera zooms in. And what do you see? Somebody says, well, then what do you want? You want something stronger? Yeah, I need something stronger. So they give them, here comes the alcohol to calm their nerves. Here comes the the weed to calm their nerves. You jump in the sack so you can forget your troubles and you can screw the night away. You know, everything is sin, sin, sin calms your nerves. Sin, sin, sin will distract you from all your problems. Come on, eat, drink, be merry for tomorrow, you know. So we just do what we want to do. It's your thing, you know, whatever. Now, the sad part is people get programmed by this stuff. You get programmed by the ways of the world. So you want to calm your nerves? Have some wine. You want to go to sleep? Drink some beer. Come on. You want to party? We're going to watch this movie. Pull out the... The, the drink and the popcorn, this, that, and the other. Well, you, somebody brings out the soda. Ain't you got something stronger than that? Come on, we're going to have a good time, which tells people you cannot have fun. You cannot enjoy each other's company. You cannot celebrate anything without the presence of liquor. Why? Because they are, it's a constant commercial in these movies. They zoom in. Somebody's crying. They're, they're, somebody died. They go to someone's house. They get a nice hug. They get invited in, and the person goes right to the liquor cabinet and pulls out the bubbly. Yeah, come on. It's programming you. It says, no, don't go to God for your comfort. Don't go to God for your solutions. Don't go to God for your heartaches. No, no, you want to feel good? I got some feel good for you, baby. It's right here in this bottle. It's like the movie industry conditions people. The propaganda that it pushes in its conditioning is sex, drugs, alcohol, violence, sin, sin, sin. How do you like it? How do you like it? More, more, more. And that's all they do is shove it, shove it, shove it down your throats. And if you're sitting there taking it in, like Peter said, it numbs you to the things of God. You get insensitive to hearing the voice of God saying, no, leave that alone. Touch not the unclean thing. No, stay away. No, that's not a good thing. It's bad. No, we don't hear it because our senses get numb. That's what the media is there to do. And I believe the devil is totally in control of it because it dummies us down. Years ago, when I first got saved, one of the first warnings God gave me was turn off the TV. Don't spend so much time getting caught up in all these shows and programs and movies and all of this. Because, see, there's no sin in watching a movie once in a while. But what ends up happening is it becomes a lifestyle. And when it becomes a lifestyle, it desensitizes you to the voice of God speaking in you. Listen, if you do this experiment at home, turn on the radio, turn on the, the, the tube, whether it's the TV or the, 
computer. Turn on all these sounds. Turn the volume up. And then have somebody stand in the doorway and speak at a normal volume. Even if they're just saying eeny, meeny, miny, mo," whatever they're saying. Or quoting a poem. And have them speak to you. And see if you can even pick up that they're saying anything other than seeing their mouth move. You stay where the noise is. And you see how easily noise drowns out the voice of the person speaking in the doorway. Well, that's what this world does. It drowns out the voice of God. It drowns out the leading of the Holy Spirit. It drowns out God's warning signals and his devices. Why? Because we're caught up. We're being dummied down. And the enemy is, is shoving it in our mouths. And we, we got our mouth open. <laughs> wow. And we have some more. <laughs> and the big old giant spoon of Satan's bull is being shoved down our throats. And we're liking it. We're having it so. And we're not knowing it's to kill us. It's to destroy us. Because we can't hear God's voice right now. We're having too much fun. We have to be careful. In these last days, Satan is pulling out all stops. All stops. He hates you with a cruel hatred. And he will pull out all stops to suck God's life out of you and destroy everything about you. So you have to stay deep, close, all up. Uh, I, I like to say it like this because it sounds so, uh, I have a way of using descriptors. I'm sorry about that. That's what God gave me. So it's his fault. Blame him. But anyway, you know, we blame him for everything else. Blame him for that too. Anyway. It's like being all up under God's armpits. <laughs> I mean, you just stay up under him, tied up, tangled up, wrapped up in Jesus. Get all tangled up in your father, which art in heaven, because that's where your safety is. Wrapped up in his love, blanketed in his peace, mm. shrouded in his glory, in his presence. He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. Psalms 91. I'm telling you, God is your salvation. He is your safety. Reasonable facsimiles will never, never be your answers, you guys. Never. I was, I was online. This person sent me a comment. I love your videos. Oh, they're so wonderful. Blah, blah, blah. Flattery. Oh, they're so amazing. Would you visit my site? And if you'd like, you can contact me on this day and I'll give you a reading. Oh, really? Really? So this is what we stay away from. I'll give you some buzz words to warn you to, of the things to stay away from. Readings, <laughs> tarot cards, astrology, a higher level of consciousness, new ways, astro projection. Oh, you can go here, you can go there, you don't need transportation. I'll show you how. This has power, that has power. Light this candle and say this five times and that will happen for you and you'll make money. Power of attraction. I mean, all of these buzz words. I was going to do a video a while back because I watched a program and something in me, I have not felt led to do it and I won't do it unless God gives me permission. But I watched the game on, uh, not a game, what do you call it? Uh, it was a little film clip of uh, American Idol or Best Talent or something like that. One of those talent shows. And this young woman would just stand there, she'd shake her head. She'd she never look at anybody. She just, 
off in this little trance. You could tell it was a demonic trance. And they're making it look like it's an act. And I'm looking at them like, you fools, you fools. That is, you're sitting there entertaining demons. And this woman did all these magic acts and these tricks and these things that were totally impossible physically. And they're scared of her. The judges were afraid of her. Now, one of the women were dumb enough to put their hand out when she reached for the hand. She points at them and she grabs her hand and she lays something over her hand. And when she removes her hand, what is on her skin? The image of the pentagram, the devil's pentagram. No way. I would have jumped up there. So I rebuke you, Satan, in the name of Jesus. I wouldn't have let her touch me, number one. I would have said, no, 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 no. You guys put your hand out there. No, you ain't touching me. I might have even left the stage. I don't care what the network said. But see, people are curious. They're enticed. They're enthralled by the supernatural, even if it's in the, on the dark side. Because it's fascinating. That's what titillates this flesh. And Satan knows it. So, yeah, I know I'm nosy. I'm the first to admit it. But there are some places I won't stick my nose. And y'all need to keep your noses clean. I'm going to leave it at that. Watch. Not watch what you watch. Be careful what you watch. Avoid watching things that exalt themselves against the knowledge of Christ. Avoid hearing things that exalt itself against the knowledge of Christ. If it says, seek here, even the Bible says, don't, don't seek. Uh, don't go to people that, that are muttering and, and uh, oh goodness, you're consulting with those that, that peep wizards and, 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 and uh, warlocks and witches and, and, and they mutter and they're, they're mediums and they're psychics and they're, they give you these readings and no, 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 no. Stay away from all of the above. It sounds like a fear, a fear thing. Guess what? Some things you're wise to be a little afraid of. At least be leery enough to stay away for your own protection. God bless you, everybody, on YouTube for joining us on Tuesday. Amen.